Did you know that Hawaii's population increased 7 out of the 11 years between 2010 and 2021? However, more recently this state's population has seen a shift. Between 2020 and 2021, Hawaii's population decreased by 0.7%, and today it's one of the top three states in the nation that people are leaving. Native Hawaiians in particular are leaving this state. One survey discovered that 370,000 Native Hawaiians now live in the continental U.S., compared to 310,000 Native Hawaiians who live in Hawaii. That's right, more Native Hawaiians live outside of Hawaii than in it. But why is Hawaii's population decreasing? After all, this state is widely considered one of the most beautiful states in the country. Who wouldn't want to live in a tropical paradise year-round? Well, today on Across the Globe, we're going to be looking at the 10 reasons people are leaving Hawaii. Number one, high cost of living. Hawaii's cost of living is pretty astronomical. According to Missouri's Economic Research and Information Center, the cost of living in Hawaii is the highest out of any other state in the country. Hawaii has an overall cost of living index of 184 compared to the U.S. average of 100. In terms of transportation, Hawaii has an index of 125.7. For health, it's 118.1. Utilities come in at a score of 141.4. Groceries at 150.1 and housing at a whopping 313.5. In other words, it's expensive to live here, really expensive. Part of this has to do with the fact that Hawaii is located pretty far from the mainland, so many of your everyday goods need to be imported a significant distance. Number two, high tax burden. Hawaii has one of the highest tax burdens out of all of the 50 states in the country. It comes in second after only New York State and has an effective tax rate of 14.1%. Because of this, WalletHub named Hawaii number two in the nation when it comes to tax burden, with again only New York being higher. Specifically, WalletHub listed Hawaii's property tax burden at 2.74%, the 26th highest in the nation. They listed the individual income tax burden at 2.86%, the 10th highest in the country, and total sales and excise tax burden of 6.71%, the highest out of any other state. Number three, expensive real estate. We already looked at how the high cost of living is driving people out of Hawaii. And a big part of that is the huge cost of buying a home in the Aloha state. As of March 2023, the median sale price of a home was over $730,000. If you can believe it though, it seems that recent sale prices have actually been cheaper than what the houses are valued at. According to Narado Real Estate Investments, for instance, Hawaii is the most expensive state to buy a house, as it has a Zillow Home Value Index average of over $834,000. I know what you're thinking. What if you just bought a plot of land and built your dream home on it? Well, you unfortunately might not have much luck there either. According to Go Banking Rates, Hawaii is also the most expensive state to buy an acre of land, with the average lot costing over $983,000. The average price per acre, meanwhile, is $75,465, the fourth highest in the nation. Number four, it's isolated. It probably comes as no surprise to you that Hawaii is pretty isolated. In fact, it's considered the most isolated population center on the entire planet, located 2,400 miles from the mainland United States. This means that if you're looking to get to the closest state, California, you're still a five-hour flight away. This can be challenging for those who have family and friends elsewhere in the nation, or for those who simply want to take a good old-fashioned road trip. It also means slower shipping and longer wait times to get just about anything. Number five, high cost of rent. Okay, let's say you can't afford to buy a house or a plot of land in Hawaii. You can always rent, right? Again, not necessarily. Apparently, 
Hawaiians spend over 40% of their income on rent, which is more than any other state in the nation. And this is a huge percentage. Financial advisors, for instance, generally recommend that you spend no more than 30% of your income on rent. Let's look at some average rents in this state. According to Rent.com, the average price of a one-bedroom apartment in Honolulu is between $1,350 per month to $2,000. Meanwhile, a studio averages $1,770 per month. This has resulted in many people fleeing Hawaii to places like Las Vegas, where the average rent for one bedroom is significantly cheaper, at about $1,292 per month. Number six, lack of job opportunities. Hawaii has been ranked one of the least economically diverse states in the country, meaning that if you're looking to work in a niche industry or you want to have lots of options or different industries to work in, you might find yourself struggling here. That's because Hawaii's economy is heavily reliant on tourism. As of 2018, about 19% of employment was in the leisure and hospitality industry and another 19% in the government sector. This reliance on tourism, however, has also contributed to a large unemployment rate during the pandemic, when tourism was pretty much shut down. During the beginning, from January to April of 2020, for instance, Hawaii's unemployment rose from 2.7% to 28.2%, reflecting an economy that might not be so stable. Number seven, the traffic is bad. When you think of bad traffic, you probably think of states like California, New York, or New Jersey. However, did you know that Hawaii is considered to have the worst traffic congestion in the entire country? In the Aloha state, there are 4,439 miles of roadway and over a million registered vehicles. This means that the ratio of vehicles to roadway is over 313. This all means one thing, lots of traffic especially during tourist season. Wallet Hub, for instance, listed Hawaii as the worst state to drive in according to factors like cost of vehicle ownership and maintenance, traffic and infrastructure, safety, and access to vehicles and maintenance. Hawaii scored pretty bad across all categories, but it was worst in terms of cost of vehicle ownership and maintenance and seventh worst when it comes to traffic and infrastructure. Number eight it's not great for business owners. If you're someone who has a small business or dreams of someday starting one, Hawaii might not be for you. While this isn't necessarily a lead driver for why people are leaving, I'm sure it doesn't help either. According to research from Lendio, Hawaii is the worst state in the country for small business owners. Unfortunately for business owners, this isn't new news. Hawaii has long been considered a subpar place for businesses. Back in 2015, for instance, Hawaii was rated the worst place to start a business for the second time in three years, according to data compiled by CNBC. Number nine, there's a huge wealth gap. According to data from WalletHub, Hawaii has one of the highest wealth gaps in the nation by race and ethnicity. A report by the think tank Center on Budget and Policy Priorities, meanwhile, shows that Hawaii's wealth gap is only widening and has been widening for decades. According to the Hawaii Budget and Policy Center, the present day gap is pretty massive. Hawaii's poorest 20% earn an average gross income of $10,200 annually. The richest 1% in Hawaii, on the other hand, earn an average annual gross income of $948,000, which is 96 times what the poorest earners make. However, this gap increases after taxes, as the wealthiest pay 57 times more taxes than the poorest, not 96 times more. This means that post-tax, wealthy people actually make 103 times more than the poorest, creating an even more significant wealth gap. Number 10. It has a high rate of homelessness. In 2022, the homeless population per 10,000 people in Hawaii was 41.43, making it the state with the fifth highest homeless rate. This high homeless rate is mostly due to what we looked at before lack of affordable housing and high cost of living, and is expected to continue to grow. 
What about other states people are leaving? Watch this video to learn about that.